um, because me, I really wanted to show you guys um, my one, my latest assignment from my class in college, but um, I have to turn it back in on Thursday due to um, I have to I have to use sandpaper and put and soft and soften up the edges because the teacher wants to put it in the showcase and I wanted to show it before then because it's going to be in there for a while. And I felt like, you know, maybe tonight, maybe I'll just do a quick little movie and I will do this. Basically, this assignment was more or less, uh, we had to do a magazine cover and uh, a back cover for a magazine for a Springfield Community Journal. Basically, all I did was basically just put like a collage of pictures here and the name and the volume. And basically, the back, I just made a little design on the back page, the barcode, the volume, and all that again. Who to thank the magazine to, and basically just a picture of people who made the magazine. And basically, last week I had to present this in the class. And basically, we got back just today, and I wanted to, and I have to, um, like I said, I have to take it back because she wants to put it in like the case or so, like to show it off or so. And um, because it's gonna be in there for a while, maybe and just I, and just to go along with the fact that I want to show this, the some of these assignments to you guys. I don't know really why. I just felt like showing. It's just gonna be a random video me showing you this guy, the, this stuff. But um, I because this will be in there probably for a while, so it'll add something for this video. Um. We may, I made this in 12th grade in a CAD class. Yes, it's the Mach 5 from Speed Racer. Um, too bad it was the, uh, we put it on that one of those little nitro, I forgot what those things are, you stick the thing in the back and it goes along the, I forgot what it's actually called now, and uh, and it go and it shoots out of the thing down that racetrack. Yeah, my, for Mach 5, this car was the slowest one out of all the cars made. And yeah, I don't know why I wanted to do the Mach 5, but um, I felt like doing it, and it turned out, I think it turned out pretty good. I did this, and it's supposed to be a mole in 11th grade, I think. Yeah, 11th grade for science class. We were learning about moles or something, not moles, something like that. We had to make one. I don't know why, but we had to. Can't remember now. And mine has a hat and glasses. It was in chemistry, like our chemistry class. Um, this I made in 12th grade as well. Um, in the art class, I forgot we had to sew and make a little character thing. It was supposed to be like a monkey or so, but I think mine turned out being more like a deformed cat or something. And I think it turned out cool because I basically covered up the mouth so it has like its, its mouth is covered. I think it turned out pretty cool. I made this in, I'm guessing, sometime in middle school. Or early, uh, no, early high school, I think. I think probably ninth grade or 10th grade. Basically just a little different colored forms used for um, my face. Um, this was back in high ninth grade, just different forms of the hand. I think it's supposed to spell out a word. I think it's supposed to be my name or something. It's like sign language. Yeah, it was, um, yeah, it was, um, ninth grade. Um, this was ninth grade as well. It was the hallway in my school, and we basically just had to put, like, an effect going in the background or so. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, what day was this? I'm guessing this was uh, ninth grade as well. Maybe 10th grade, I don't know. It was basically just like the color wheel, but a design to it. This is another thing from college. Basically, this was from over the summer. Basically, it's just like a whole, like, making cookies or so. It's just a little, like, picture of how to make cookies or so, because from my oral communication class, my speech class, basically our last thing was presenting how to make something, and how to make cookies. Chocolate chip and peanut butter cookies. 
we had to make them too. This is, now this is probably the oldest thing I'm probably going to be showing you guys today. Um, I don't know what grade this was in. I think it was seventh grade. This is probably the only middle school thing I have in this entire, yeah, middle school. This was, I think, sixth grade, actually. Sixth grade, yeah, sixth grade. Basically just the whole water cycle, I think. Don't know why I want to show you guys this, but it was basically that. And now basically most of the stuff I left, most of my college stuff for the end, at least not everything. Let's start off with this one. There's a picture of um, the family. We had to make like a collage or some kind of design with the family members in it and these are all my family for background we had to make this in Photoshop back in last year the winter of last year so my first year of college and basically the we just had to lay it out and show off the family um, here's another color wheel um, this was from the fall of 2008, my first semester in college. It's another color wheel, and basically we had to make like, I made like a design to it so it looks like it was going off the, off the board to add a little depth to it, and like certain colors I put, I had pop out because I layered them that way, and I think that one turned out pretty good. And what else do I have in here? That's nothing. I think I have one more thing to show you guys. Wait, there, that's all just things. That's nothing really. Is this anything? Uh, this isn't even design stuff, but I'll show it anyways. Basically the whole, it was for my, I think it was for my comp two class. Basically the whole, we had to make a message and basically it was about like, my message of, our video games bad or so and we're bad and there's video games and possible outcomes people think come from a bad grades killing losing your job costing a lot of money people getting fat basically I, my whole thing was like that was i don't think it caught those th video games do that to people basically and the last thing i think I, oh there's one more for my first year of college to my first semester. Basically, it's like we had to look for certain designs and see how they worked. Like, you know, this one's simple enough and the design works. This one is too cluttered and it doesn't work. Yeah, that's not a design thing or anything, but I wanted to show you that. And my last thing, and I'll say the best for last, and with this in my Photoshop semester as well. Oops. Um, <laughs> I have to get another rubber band now. Um, we had to make like a website and a poster for some kind of thing we were promoting, and I made mine on uh, Super Smash Brothers 4. If you guys can see that now. This is the poster. Basically, I just put Super Smash Brothers at the top before coming February 15th, 2012. It's not really going to come that day. Be cool if it did. We only have to wait a few more years from that game. Um, I put Mario in the middle because he's like Nintendo's main character, so he'd be in the middle of certain characters. I put Makai, Bowser Jr., Link, Mario, female Pokemon trainer, Samus, Kirby, Lynn, Lil Mac, Luigi, Andy, and the two new I, I chose for my um, third-party characters, Mega Man X and Bomberman. And I put a background in there, and I thought the background really worked. It was, uh, I think it was, it's one of the stages from Brawl, I think. It's, or, it's, uh, so, yeah, one of the stages from Brawl, I think. And then the website, basically, Super Smash Brothers official website, the home page, new characters, new stages, new music, Super Smash Brothers history, contact us, Basically, it being announced, the picture coming, the date coming to with Mario, Pikachu, 
Kirby and Link in the little description down here that I wrote that was like announced at E3 and everything. And they